Guys, I want to teach you a technique that's going to position you to have a lot of success when you sit down with your prospects. How would you like a technique that your prospects would actually be eager to hear what you have to say? In fact, they'd almost be begging you to tell them. How would you like a technique that they would almost be ready to say yes and enroll even before the presentation begins? Well, that's this technique. I created a technique called the three-step setup, and those who are using it are seeing a dramatic difference in their business. I'm going to give you the three steps and then I'm going to give you the verbiage for each of the three steps and it will set you up to begin to practice it and I encourage you, use this technique every single time you show this idea to anyone. The three steps are one, why, number two, big deal all in, and number three, don't care. Why, big deal all in, and don't care. Let's go through them one at a time. The first thing you're going to do is you're going to share with them why you're doing this. So let's pretend that you and I are sitting at coffee and I was about to show this to you. I would say, hey, thanks a lot for coming to coffee with me. Listen, I've got something huge I want to share with you. And I would begin to tell my why. Now my why has to do with my family, so it would sound something like this. I've got something huge I want to share with you. Listen, you may know that I've been an executive in the software business for a while and it might seem like things are going well from the outside looking in, but on the inside i got to be real with you. I'm just dying. I'm, I'm traveling so much, I never see the kids, I never see my wife, I'm missing every one of the kids' events. And all these passions that I know I'm supposed to pursue, I got absolutely no time for them. And I'm just seeing you know, divorce headed my way, I'm seeing my kids being adults and it's like the cats in the cradle deal, it's just not good. And I've just been praying for something and I just found it. Now, let me back up and break that down. I gave you my why. Now, my why is not going to be your why. I gave you that as an example. Your why could be anything. We have people who are trying to retire and they can't. We have single moms who are tired of dropping their kids off at daycare. We have college students who are tired of burdening their parents with the financial woes of paying for college and want to get that off their back. We have people who every kind of why, it doesn't matter what the why is, but what it does matter is that you are real that you are vulnerable and that you are raw. The more emotionally gripping your why can be, the better. And the last part of this first step is that you need to transition by saying you were looking for something and you found it. I use the phrase, I was praying for something and I found it because I happen to be a person of faith. It doesn't matter, looking for or praying for, either one works just as well. But what we're doing is we're creating a problem in the mind of the listener. Here's my big problem. I was looking for an answer and I found it. That's step one. Step two is going to be big deal all in. So the way that would sound is this. You've just said, man, I was looking for something and I just found it. Now this thing I just found, it is a huge deal. It's going all over the world. It's a viral social phenomenon. And I've done all the research and let me tell you, this is my ticket. I am all in. All we said there, guys, is that it's big. We gave them a little reference to how big it is. We want them to know that this is not some small-time thing. This is truly happening all over the globe. Hundreds of thousands of people are getting involved. Now, we're not saying all that. We're just inferring it by telling them how big it is. And we've told them we've done the research and decided to put our chips all the way in using the poker metaphor. So we're going to say it's a big deal. We've done the research, and we're all in. The last step is don't care. And here's how that would sound. You've just said, and listen, I've decided I'm putting my chips all in. I am all about it. Now, here's the thing. I'm not sure how you're going to you know, take this. I'm not sure how it's going to impact you. You may love it. You may not get it right away. All I know is this. You're my good friend. I'm going to put this in front of a bunch of people, and I wanted to give you one of the opportunities to be first. Is that cool? So all we said there is, listen, we don't know how they're going to take it. We don't know how it's going to strike them. They may love it. They may not get it right away. It doesn't matter to us. Let me tell you another good phrase you can use. You can say, listen, it won't affect you and I at all. I'll tell you how that would sound. You could say, listen, now I'm not sure how this is going to strike you. You may love it. You may not get it right away. I want you to know either way is cool with me. It's not going to affect us one bit. All I know is you're my really good friend and I'm going to put this in front of tons of people and because we're such good friends I wanted you to have the chance to be one of the first. Is that cool? That's what the don't care step sounds like. We basically take it away from them. We tell them it's not going to affect us either way and at the end we say to them I just wanted you to have the chance to be one of the first. Is that cool? They always say yes. 
Guys, if you will use this little three-step setup before every presentation, I don't care if it's a video in a coffee shop or a giant live event, it will dramatically improve your results.